Mayor Cherko, let me go to you first on this. The province has got its own get it done fund, I guess, for lack of a better expression. It's called the Building Faster Fund. How's that working for you? So far for us, it's, it's working quite well. We had some initial hiccups on the measurements of what uh, stats are being included in that. Uh, we just received word a little uh, last week, I believe it was, from the Minister of Municipal Affairs that we'd reached 202% uh, and would be eligible uh, for funding. So although it's not a huge amount, uh, every little bit counts and we'll take everything that we can possibly get through that fund. Okay, how about in Waterloo, is it working? No, it's not. I mean, Waterloo, the developments, we've, we have thousands of housing units uh, approved, councils approve them, but because the developers, the builders, have not put shovels in the ground, again, because of the market conditions, um, that takes us out of the running to be able to, to meet those housing starts. So mm -hmm. we don't, municipalities, we've done everything we can do. We've got the, the, the approvals in place. Now it's up to the developers and the builders to pull those permits and get those shovels in the ground. But they're stuck because of high inflation, lack of labor, et cetera. So we're missing out on about three or four million dollars of infrastructure funding. And is that because, in your view, the program is not well designed or does not? Uh, what, yeah, the, progr the program's not measuring. It's not, it's not measuring what we actually can accomplish. We are doing the part, like the part that count that municipalities need to be held accountable for are, are we, are, is council approving the housing developments that come to us? And we are. We've got about 23,000 housing units that are uh, at various points in our pipeline. On December 11th, 2023, our council approved 6,500 housing units in one meeting, hmm. right? But now we need the developers and the builders to do their part of it. Like we've taken it as far as we can and the next step is, is for them. We get that inflation's high and that uh, it's tough to find the, uh, the labor, but we, are, we should not be held accountable for something that we have no control over. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. How's the Building Faster Fund working in Burlington? Not well at all. And it's exactly what Dorothy said. We are being measured based on foundations poured. Municipalities don't pour foundations. Uh, that is the Canadian Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation way of measuring a housing start. But it is also wildly inaccurate. So not only is it the wrong metric by which to judge municipalities, and if it was just a tracking measure, that would be one thing, but there's real money attached to this. And we will not get... The, uh, we will not get the funding that we need in Burlington because of that metric. Uh, they're also wildly inaccurate. So they're, usually mis municipalities count their own foundations because they have building inspectors going out to uh, look at them. And they have said, you're undercounting us by a factor in some cases of 50%. So those municipalities have met their targets. They're still not getting the Building Faster Fund. And CMHC has doubled down on this. They've said, we're not changing our metric. The government, every time we've asked them to change the metric, have said, we're not changing it because this is a number that uh, is universal across all municipalities because each of us count, for example, how many approvals we have. We, we have over 4,000 that are waiting for foundations to be poured. That's almost two years of our requirement under the Building Faster Fund. So. We need a better metric. If it's not, uh, if it's that one, it needs to be more accurate. It shouldn't be that one. Uh, and if it's if it's one that actually measures what municipalities do, then let's find a standard way to measure it across all municipalities. It's not that hard. So if you're going to redesign it, you would do what? Change the criteria. Change what you're measured on. So it's measured on foundations right now. It should be measured on the permits that are issued. That's it. The approval process sits with the municipality. We don't build housing, we don't pour foundations. That's the development industry.